to access the dark web, we will need to type in Tor Browser. Tor Browser. Now we will click on the first link that says Tor Project and we click download to Tor Browser. Now we see four links. Download the one for your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click Windows. And we can see that we're getting a download the top right corner and we can see that it's downloading it wait for that to download so it's downloaded for me so i'm going to double click it and it's going to set it up for me and it's going to say what's your language i'm going to select english i'm just going to press install and we can see it's installing think of tor browser as google chrome but for the dark web pretty much tor is going to be your browser that you're going to use to search the dark web so we can see it said finished so let's click finish and we can see that's it and it should be coming up right now. So Tor has opened for me. So we've successfully downloaded Tor. Understand the dark web. You need to first understand the three other parts of the internet, which are the surface web, the deep web, and the dark web. The surface web are things that are easily accessible, like Google or Bing and Wikipedia and YouTube. Things that you can find on a search engine. The deep web are things that are not normally publicly accessible, like medical records, legal documents, and even scientific reports from Pacific universities as well as some social media sites that are invite only. Government resources fall into this category as well, as they're only accessible to certain members of the government, not the general public. Most of the internet is actually the deep web, and only a small portion of the internet is the surface web. The next step up from that is the dark web. To access the dark web, you can only access it through certain web browsers like Tor, which are designed to ensure anonymity. Who and what will be on the dark web will be political activists, whistleblowers, and journalists, who need anonymity. Cyber criminals will also use the dark web which they can use to commit crimes, which normally happens on dark web marketplaces. A good example of one is the Silk Road, which was a really famous dark web market that sold all manners of things, which were mostly illegal contraband. Hackers also use the dark web. Hacking forums are a popular hangout for black hat hackers, where they can talk and ask questions about how to make better malware. We're back on tour. First thing you must do, no matter what, is click on this shield button. You can see it's already on safest for me, but for you it'll stay standard. Once you click on it, we will come here to the security tab. This is absolutely important, you must do this every time you connect to the dark web. Otherwise you can get hacked, and you probably will get hacked. So click on change me. Make sure it's on safest. You click save and restart and it'll restart at our browser. What this will do is disable JavaScript. All you need to know is that if you have JavaScript enabled, you can get your IP address linked, which can dox your location. As well as you can also get a, a virus downloaded on your computer. So, must, must, no matter what, first thing, make this on safest. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure this is on safest, safest, no matter what you're doing. So, now that is done, we don't really need to connect, click configure connection. Just click connect. If you're on a, if you're in a country where it blocks Tor, then you may need to mess around with that. But I'm going to expect that you're in a country that will allow you to use Tor. So, you can see this is going to take a while. To connect to Tor. Now we can see it's fully loaded up. It may take a minute for you, that's completely normal. You can see right now we're using DuckDuckGo and we can use a. We can click a button that says Onionize. I'll be getting onto an onion, what onion links are in a second. But right now on the top tab we want to type in. We want to type in Tor Taxi. This should take a while to load up as you're on Tor. Just think of Tor as a slower version of the internet in general. This is mostly due to security. We can see right now it says you want it an onion link is available we're not gonna we're not gonna click that right now but what we will click is let's click on the bbc website we can see we're getting an onion link all you need to know for an onion link the normal internet has normal internet links that like youtube.com instead of .com they'll have dot onion dot onion links are only accessible through tor they're more like a secure version of .com they protect you and the website from getting your information leaked. And if you click on this little squiggly line at the top corner, we can see it's showing you your exit nodes. And you can see my exit nodes right here. You can see my guard is in the United Kingdom and my exit node is in the United States. This is completely normal. You can click for a new tour circuit for the site. All this is is going to hide your, hide your IP address and all the other personal information. That's all you really need to know about Tor Onion Links. So we can see, we can see markets, we can see news, forums. I wouldn't recommend you to click on markets. So right now we're using DuckDuckGo, which is a clear net search engine. If we want to go on a dark web, we'll need to use a dark net search engine. So I'm going to click on 
search engines. Before that loads up, I want to show you another really important piece of information, which is the Dark Net Bible. I would recommend you to read the Dark Net Bible. It's really, really good source of information. You can see it's loaded up. All the Dark Net Bible is is OPSEC practices, like best practices. OPSEC is operational security. This is pretty much how it's pretty much securing yourself while using Tor. You can see it's going to talk about operating systems. I would recommend that you use Tails. I may make a video in the future if this video gets enough likes or views. I might make another video on how to install Tails. So we can see that something that's very common on the dark web is that the Onion site is offline. This is normal because there'll be people attacking the websites through denial of service attacks trying to crash the website. And you can see this website has been crashed. Completely normal in the dark web. So I'm just going to type in dark web search engines and just type that in and I'm going to click on this link here just click on any link in the top and then you should be able to uh, find a dark web search engine torch is a good one haystack I would recommend is actually probably one of the best so let's click on haystack we can see this one's also down as well which is a completely normal on the dark web as a lot of websites will just be down so Amia is a good one actually probably one of the best ones if filters out bad content so I'm gonna try Amia and we can see this one works I'm gonna just type in free VPN let's see what comes up so we can see we get a bunch of links right here so I'm just gonna click on the top one let's just see what comes up so this is most likely gonna be a scam so I wouldn't buy anything off the dark web probably just get scammed but you can see the dark web isn't too different to your normal web if you're just gonna search up for normal things 